Hey guys, so I have been looking around. <laughs> I've been, okay, so I woke up at like 5.30 and in the city, I was so used to driving super early in the morning and finding a new spot. And I kind of used the same technique, but it was a huge mistake. I, it's really dark out and I could not find the spots that I was trying to go to. I finally, found a place to just pull over and park for like one hour more like a half hour the sun will be up as i was driving it started to get lighter and i was like hopeful that like by the time i get there it'll be bright enough to see something but at one point i just missed my turn off and then it rerouted for like an hour and a half to get there because there's no other way to get around the highway there's no crossover i don't know why but then I was like, okay, damn. I looked up while driving in the pitch black and no lights around the dark highway. That's 110. I looked up a new spot and I just rerouted for that. But when I got there, it was very flooded. Also very dark. I couldn't really see anything except huge puddles. There may have been room for me, but I really couldn't see anything. And it was just... I didn't want to stop there. It was too close to a community and it was just felt really out of place. So I just kept on driving. I turned back and I drove back like 10 kilometers from the way I came. And I tried to get to the same destination that I had missed my turn for. So now I turned in to an area called Whiskey Creek and I missed my turn again, but luckily it was just like a kilometer down the road. And now I'm at the dead end of a road with a bunch of other like houses and stuff. So I don't want to stay here and bother anyone. And I'm going to make my way for that place that's like only a kilometer away in like an hour <laughs> because the sun will come up really soon. It's like getting there. It's like everything's very blue and I can at least see ahead of me. But my van lights suck, my vision just in general isn't great, so yeah, it was a stressful past hour and a half, I would say. But hopefully I'm very close to a spot that I can stay maybe a couple days. Apparently it's like a very common like ATV, dirt bike area, off-roading spot, big spacious area, and have my first experience outside on Vancouver Island. But yeah, from this like panic driving, I think I've decided that I'm gonna just head towards Victoria and just cause it's warmer, uh, less snow. So I have like not that much time to kill, but I'm gonna make a coffee cause that will help me. That would have helped this entire situation if I started with a coffee this morning. <clears throat> okay. Bought my last surviving mug. This is just me out of practice. I am used to doing this. It's just been like five months. And what came with that past experience was confidence, not knowledge, because I'm just like out of practice and I don't really, <laughs> not used to it, right? Um, so yeah, definitely wait for daylight when you're trying to find a spot. Don't expect the sun to rise before it's scheduled to rise. I had such a cozy spot in a parking lot, so I'm like, I regret even moving at all. Like, I could have just waited a couple more hours, enjoyed a coffee there, and been so much more prepared to be on my way, but live and learn. Uh, it was just so rainy on the highway too, it was crazy.
Okay, so it's bright enough to actually see. We've got that morning blue everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my way now. I've made my coffee. Should be easy enough to find. I just hope it's um, a place that I can stay. Hopefully it's not flooded too much or... I don't know. Let's go check it out. to avoid them <laughs> as I hit a million of them but I'm really glad I, that I didn't make the turn earlier when it was darker because it would have been really hard to avoid those huge puddles that I just passed or any of these potholes yeah so it should be up ahead It's really snowy. Um, I think I'm gonna pull back as far as I can. There's some old pumpkins here. And there's a trail right back here too. So, good for exploring. Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn off my van now. But at a quick glance, I think this area is really cute. Um, turn this off. I also read on iOverlander that this is a spot that has a lot of garbage. People dump their garbage all the time, which gives everybody a bad rep. Humans a bad rep. Definitely gonna go explore this trail later. This is the most snow that I've experienced in quite a while. When I did a video at Joffrey Lake Provincial Park, there was tons of snow there because we were like climbing up a mountain to see a glacier. <laughs> but besides that, this is the most snow I've seen and it's kind of beautiful and a winter wonderland and I saw that there was another spot further down. Okay, so I've got my coffee now. And I'm ready to start my day. <laughs> what will today bring? If I get a fire going, I'll be so happy. So I might work towards that. Thank you guys for hanging out with me on this little travel journey. Lots of travels coming. Also, I found a robot head and a robot body over there. Oh, poor Bender. It's kind of cool. So rusty. And I, in fact, did run over a pumpkin earlier while I was backing up. Yep, sorry, pumpkin. And it's funny because the comment that I read on I Overlander was like, I spent Halloween here, it's a great spot. And that's <laughs> the comment that I like followed and I'm like, it's a pumpkin, it's probably where he celebrated. Cool, ran over your pumpkin. So today I found a lot of interesting trash. Here's one of the things that I picked up. It looks like it was from a trophy maybe, it's pretty funny. What other stuff did I find? There's like a wand here. Do you see that? This is a weird find. I just picked this up. That's like a snake. What the heck is this? <laughs> That's such a weird, magical find. Okay. Pretty, right? So I looked up this area on all trails and there's a bit of a mountain that goes 100 meters up in that direction. And I wanna go see if I can find it. The sun will set in about an hour, but I'm gonna do as much as I can. This snake is like really creeping me out. I think I might keep this. You know, shave off the end to a nice point and have a nice weapon. I do have a neighbor. <laughs> Not that I would need a weapon against him, but... Also, there's this, like, X on this tree. Are these, like, Blair Witch things? Should I be nervous? I'm not. 
I think it's really cool and magical. But anyways, let's head off into the woods. I have a towel drying on my van right now. Did a lot of cleaning. I cleaned the entire floor and the carpet. I guess this is a, a ramp for some dirt bikes that go along here. I've seen a few ramps so far, pretty cool. It's very flooded today, so I feel like that's why I haven't seen anyone. Saw some dirt bikes on the main road. This is odd. Useful. spot has pretty clear vision of the mountains just past the trees I made a flamethrower with my camper stove <laughs> propane everything is super damp so let's try to dry it a little bit it's working pretty well look at that It's really small and I don't think it's gonna last. It started to rain, but I'm drying out some pieces. That was fun. It's just fun to smell the smoke and get to be warm. It's kind of cool. 